Five NHL bets in five minutes. I'm Lawrence Presman. You're watching the Penalty Box segment for Thursday, October 10th. Let's go. Boston hosting the Montreal Canadiens. And we had the Montreal Canadiens and Toronto Maple Leafs under the total yesterday. We cashed that for you guys. And it's mainly because I don't think Montreal is ever going to score. And that's what we're doing again here. We're not going to take the under. We're going to go with the fact that Montreal can't score and take Boston minus one and a half plus. It's around minus one and a half minus 110. And the bottom line here is uh, Boston coming off of a tough, tough loss against Florida in the first game. They don't want to start the season 0-2. Montreal with a miracle win last night uh, against the Leafs, 1-0. I think it's a great spot for Montreal. A t- uh, for Boston, a terrible spot for Montreal. Take the Boston Bruins minus one and a half. Next, we turn our attention to Buffalo and the LA Kings. I'm going to look to be betting the over in most LA Kings and Buffalo Sabres games. And we saw the Sabres put up nothing against New Jersey overseas. But I like the over in this game. I think there's going to be a lot of speed on the ice. I think there's a lot of young, talented, skilled players on the ice. And six is a low number. I think we see this game be around 5-3. That's eight goals. Take over the total in the LA Kings-Buffalo Sabres game. Now, before we get into our next game, Utah and the New York Islanders, I just want to make mention again about the promo that we're offering all week. And that is seven days of all my NHL plays for only $49. Seven days for all my NHL plays for only $49. There is no coupon code required. Just head over to my page, wt.buzz forward slash LP, and you will find that offer. Take advantage of that, guys. I got two client plays going tonight in the NHL. Okay. New York Islanders in Utah. Uh, Look, I think this Utah team is going to be better than most. Uh, This is a team that went in Phoenix that looked like they were up on the rise. However, with that said, this is not a great spot for them. They had a huge game, uh, their opening game ever as a new franchise in Utah uh, two nights ago. This will be an emotional letdown spot. The New York Islanders have been sitting and waiting. It's minus 150. I think there's a lot of value here on the New York Islanders. Take the New York Islanders to win this game. uh, Minus 150 against the Utah Hockey Club. Detroit hosting Pittsburgh. And I'm telling you guys right now, and I will say it over and over again until proven wrong, this Pittsburgh team is going to be one of the bottom feeders of the league. Uh, Pittsburgh and Washington are going to be bet against teams moving forward. And I think Ottawa and Detroit are going to be bet on teams moving forward. I think this might be the year that both Ottawa and Detroit find their way into the playoffs. So with that said, We're going to look to take the Detroit Red Wings in this game, and we're going to take them in regulation at plus 110. Pittsburgh already lost uh, last night against the New York Rangers, and I gave out the New York Rangers. So they're on a back-to-back tonight, which at the beginning of the season is tough because their legs aren't used to playing. Uh, And on top of that, Detroit has got to be really excited about the season. This is the first year that they're coming into the season with high aspirations, high expectations, and I think they get it done tonight. Against this Pittsburgh team, I'm prepared to take anybody. Plus, I really do like the Red Wings moving forward. Take them in regulation at plus 110. Now we turn our attention to San Jose hosting the St. Louis Blues. St. Louis with a miracle win last uh, two nights ago against uh, Seattle. It wasn't a miracle win. They were down 2 nothing. But they put up three in a very short period of time and couldn't put up another. So here they come into San Jose, uh, up uh, a game already on the season. And where I'm going here is the under. I think St. Louis is going to play to the under all year. And I think the San Jose team is really lacking scoring depth. I think we're going to see them play to the under all year. The only issue with unders in San Jose is I don't think they have great goaltending or defense And I think there are going to be teams like Colorado, Toronto, Edmonton that are going to be able to put up a ton on the San Jose team. I don't think St. Louis is one of those teams. I think the St. Louis team wants to play slow. And I think we see this game going under the total of six. Guys, make sure to buy that $49 package. It's only up for a few more days. 
There will not be a penalty box segment tomorrow or Monday as I'm away, but starting Tuesday, it will go all year. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on Tuesday.